Wastewater from households is transported to a modern wastewater treatment plant, where sand and grit is removed and the sludge particles settle. The water is treated biologically. The bacteria become secondary sludge and settle. Both primary and secondary sludge are thickened and blended. The sludge is then pre-dewatered. The storage silo serves as a buffer before the organic material is fed continuously to the Cambi thermal hydrolysis process. The steam is reused in the pulper to preheat the incoming material. The material is then fed in batches to the reactor, where live steam is injected to reach 170 degrees centigrade All human, animal and plant diseases are eliminated by sterilization. After treatment and heat recovery, the remaining pressure is used to push the material into the final stage, the flash tank. In this process, a rapid pressure drop causes a steam explosion which disintegrates the material into an easily digestible feed. From the flash tank, the material is pumped to a heat exchanger, where it is cooled to the required digestion temperature. The material is fed to the digester at twice the conventional load. In the digester, organic content is converted by microorganisms into biogas. Thermally hydrolyzed organic material digests both more rapidly and with higher biogas yields than in a conventional process. The biogas can be utilized in a gas engine with cogeneration of electricity and steam. Alternatively, it can be used to substitute natural gas in a gas grid or in vehicles. The digested sludge is dewatered into a high class pathogen free and stabilized biofertilizer with 30 to 40 percent dry solids content. This product is an efficient fertilizer which can be directly applied to agricultural land.